Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for May 27th to June 3rd. My name is Catherine and this is Oracle Intuitions. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be an energy reading for the head heart environment as well as a message from spirit. This is for all Libra placements, sun, moon, rising and Venus as well as cross watchers if you wish to watch. Please remember that these are general readings so they're not going to resonate with everyone as we are all beautiful individuals. Um, however, if they do resonate with you, please click subscribe. Please click the like button as it really does help my channel to grow. And it is a really nice karmic exchange. So let's get into it. Oh, and also, um, if you would like to get a more in-depth relationship reading, I do have the how do they feel about you or how they feel uh, in regards to relationships in the uh, playlist, but I am also going to link it above, all right? So let's get into it. Let's look at the environment of the mind, environment of the head. This is going to be things that we may be focusing in on or um, things that are, you know, within our external environment that may require our focus. First card coming in is we have making a choice. A second card, coming through is we have dragon's lair and we have the sacred pool you know what i'm really getting here uh, libra i'm kind of getting this this feeling coming through here that for some of you do i make the choice of going back to what i know which could be that dragon's lair okay for some of you there may have been some sort of separation there may have been a breakup maybe you know this this even could be on a spiritual emotional or physical level just you know take it as it's resonating it kind of feels like you're in this place of do I go back to my old ways? Do I go back to maybe perhaps a particular person or an environment in some way? But that environment doesn't feel like it was very stable. However, sometimes we get into this place of we going back to where it is that we know. All right. Maybe, you know, for some, you, you've been making this decision as, well, I knew that, um, you know, by staying in this job, I'm going to make money. I'm going to be able to have a financial future, but I don't feel happy. Maybe staying in this relationship, you know, is this person going to improve? Maybe I should give them time, whatever it is. It does feel like that type of energy. Again, you know, it could be on whatever aspect or whatever level, but we also have this sacred pool here. All right. Or do I go into what it is I really want? Do I want to go deeper within myself? and discover more about who I am and and what it is that I want to um, maybe possibly pursue where is my next step forward all right so let's take a look and let's get some clarification on this um, making a choice so this may even tell us what kind of choice we have to make it on we've got the six of cups coming in again i do get that for some of you you're wondering if maybe perhaps a particular person or a particular thing was possibly your destiny or some place that you were supposed to be all right we have this ace of wands coming in I'm, I'm really getting like you're in this you're in this place of well maybe I'm supposed to be with this person or maybe I was supposed to be there maybe it was destiny maybe I'm supposed to it really feels like some sort of doubt coming through but I do feel your soul longing for a you know a deeper okay a deeper connection again with that sacred pool coming in it's like you're ready to really explore what Libra wants, where Libra wants to go, what, what is being drawn towards Libra at this point in this time. We have that seven of cups. Yeah, there's choices here. It's like you're ready to explore those new choices rather than just staying in the stagnant energy or staying with what it is that you know. Maybe for at a time there was a learning lesson that maybe, maybe needed to come in here and we're going to actually clarify that in a second. But I want to really look at the sacred pool first. Yeah, I feel like you guys are wanting to really head into that new direction. I almost feel like for some of you, and we have that two of wands coming through. I almost feel like for some of you, you just needed some sort of validation. <laughs> like honestly, you know, it, it's like that validation of saying, yeah, I'm supposed to go for this. You actually, you know, you might have even been pressured by people around you. Okay. You know, stay within this. Why are you walking away from this? You know, I'm sure you can get over the unhappiness, but this is solid. This is committed. It kind of feels like other people's, you know, um, decisions for some of you may have been making a play in here as well maybe even perhaps from you know a past partner or maybe perhaps you know again to do with work or something like that but let's clarify that dragon's lair look at this we have the devil coming through right 
I feel like you yeah, things might have been, you know, come up to the surface. You might have found out secrets. You might have found out. You know what? Here's the interesting thing is your intuition was telling you this entire time about whatever this was. Okay, and again, I do feel like things were maybe revealed. There may have been some sort of, you know, devil type of energy coming through here. There might have been, you know, some sort of, um, we have that two of cups. Maybe perhaps you were really drawn to this person because of their their energy or maybe perhaps because of, you know, you did feel that, that connection with them. And again, whatever aspect this has, happens to fall in, maybe perhaps there was that instant connection. Okay, especially with that devil card, instant lust, instant, um, you know, sexual energy, instant uh, intimacy, that sort of thing. But what's happened is perhaps throughout that course is that a lot of secrets were starting to be revealed. Or maybe perhaps that person was showing you different sides of them, things that had been hidden from you. And it's now you're in this place of do I stay or do I go? Do what? What do I do? right? I feel this draw towards, you know, whatever this dragon's lair is. Okay. I feel this draw towards it. However, I feel like that might not be my destiny. And it's time now to explore maybe my real destiny. This might've been just a learning lesson. Let's actually take a look at that. Uh, that let's take a look at that devil. All right. And let's get some clarification towards that devil and let's see what's coming through. Yeah, there's a stagnant here. I feel like for some of you, the relationship might have even been back and forth. It might have been stalled at some point. But again, you know, there's that draw towards it. For some of you, you might even been, been in this relationship for a while, hoping that it would improve, hoping that it would get better. Maybe it was back and forth, you know, gone into this place of a stalemate for a while and then the sexual energy or the intimacy you know, when you are together, it's wild and it, it's crazy and it feels really good. But at the same time, you know, there's this stagnancy, okay? Maybe lack of communication because that, that two of swords can really talk about communication as well. Or, two, you know, swords in general really are communicative type of energy, but also clarity, right? And I feel like for some of you, you received a sense of clarity within this. We also have that three of pentacles coming in. And we have the two of pentacles coming in. I think that for some of you, you really thought that by staying in something, that it was going to improve, that it was going to get better, that there was, you know, if I just stay a little bit longer, maybe they'll do this, maybe they'll open up, maybe, you know, whatever it is. But I, I feel like you were really in this place almost of, it's like juggling, juggling the energy. Okay. I'm, you know, I feel really drawn, but I'm not having the complete satisfaction. I'm not getting the satisfaction here. Whereas here, you know, when you look at it and you make that choice and you're going towards, you know, that different energy, this is beautiful. Look at page of cups coming through. Yeah. It's like a whole new seeds, whole new, whole new start forward. Okay. And this is what I keep getting. There's like a whole new start forward for you. And this is what you're excited about. And this is where I feel like you guys are being drawn towards. And again, I do feel that for some of you, you might've been just waiting for some sort of validation. All right. Or maybe, you know, for some sort of a sign or connection from your soul or whatever it was, but it does feel like this is where you want to go is you want to go towards that new. You don't know, even if you don't know quite what that new is at this point in time, you know, you know that you have options, you know that you have choices, but you're ready to explore now. You're ready to go deep. All right. You're ready to go deep into your own soul to figure out what that next step is. And this is what's coming through. Let's take a look at relationships and see what's happening here. So I did pre-shuffle these cards ahead of time. Um, I do usually shuffle them off camera simply because it is such a large deck. <laughs> but um, I do like to shuffle them as well on camera. All right. First card coming in is we have the Queen of Air. So this is Aquarius energy, but it does talk about being an assertive, independent, 
um, you know, it, 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 this is also represents the, the star card. Okay. So I do feel that there's hopes there. There is some sort of energy of faith coming through here, but there is also talking about being practical. Okay. Coming from a place of practicality, coming from a place of being independent within yourself. We also have the white wolf. So confidence, guidance, trust again, trust your inner knowing all right trusting yourself at this point instead of perhaps listening to others or even perhaps trusting you know the 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 energy of lust or you know some sort of false energy and it doesn't mean that lust is always a false energy it just means that it may not have the qualities that make it stable for movement forward all right we also have the raccoon problem solver questions uh curious ask questions and we did get that energy there of that uh um, devil card and I do feel that for some of you maybe you, or that moon card you know where things were things were discovered okay maybe through asking questions maybe you just got to this point where you were following your instincts trusting yourself and once you started asking those questions that's where things really started to be revealed hmm. we also have the bouquet happy harmony love reconciliation for some of you and we have the bear coming through, all right? And this talks about, you know, protection. Um, and this can talk about benefit, uh, you know, financial benefits as well. I'm kind of getting this energy that for some of you, there might have been money involved in some sort of relationship or resources coming through. This could have even been a duality, right? Um, where you know, they had resources or you had the resources and, you know, maybe perhaps this was a, a, a relationship of convenience for some of you. And it doesn't mean that there wasn't the lust and all of that, but you know, what made it stay or what made you perhaps stay or maybe even made them perhaps stay a little bit longer than maybe perhaps what it should have been is some sort of energy here of um you know finances right but what i'm also getting you know and the finances even could have just come up i'm getting that too mm. again that's only going to resonate with some of you okay um but you're being very protective this even could be bringing pr pr protective around your kids protective around your just your personal energy in some way finances it, it almost feels like you knew or again something came through or something came up that you know something was revealed this is what I'm getting something was revealed that made you really rethink about um, that reconciliation or that uh, being in that place of allowing this energy to continue all right Let's take a look at that Queen of Air. Let's see what's coming through. Yeah, we've got the Magician. We've got the Four of Wands, which is beautiful energy. And we've also got the Six of uh, Six of Wands coming in here. Victory, right? You're manifesting. Uh, you're manifesting a new start. I, I really do feel like you're manifesting a new start, one of contentment, one of happiness, one where you're feeling that strength, that victory. It's like knowing that you, you know, you came over a lot of um, adverse uh, energies. You know, you maybe you, you kind of went through hell with somebody in some way. And now, now you see hope for the future. You're manifesting a new start and you're actually feeling very, very strong and positive about it or are about to feel very strong and confident about it let's actually clarify that wolf look at this we've got another wolf coming through here we've got that nine of wands so again guarded okay confident boundaries are up we have the eight of pentacles and the knight of uh, knight of swords A lot of confidence coming in here. A lot of confidence about a new beginning. You're ready to move forward within that new beginning. Like there's no holding you back. You might even be, you know, just at this place where 
you're starting the work towards you know some sort of sense of independence okay whether you're with somebody or not you know I, I I do feel though there was some sort of ending you know especially for many of you but this might be a new start but you're in this place where you're ready to take it on you're ready to take this on you've got that confidence within you to move forward let's look at that raccoon yeah knight of wands coming in we have the lovers coming in beautiful energy and we have the eight of cups Yeah, I, f I, I really do. I feel like for some of you, you're you're in this place of, I still keep getting money or finances, you know, for some of you that somebody might have been staying within a relationship of some way because of finances or maybe, and this doesn't mean that anybody is um you know particularly using anyone or whatever it just might have been in that area of how do i move forward i don't know if i'm going to be able to support myself or i don't know if i can if i can do this or i don't know you know am i going to be able to pay my bills or whatever because i had this you know this person that was helping right or you know maybe this was a marriage for some of you or maybe this was a um you know a living situation but you're solving this problem now you're solving this problem. You might even be, you know, getting creative within, you know, whatever it is that you're building or developing. We have that uh, Knight of Wands with that Knight of uh, Knight of Swords over here. We've got the Lovers coming in. Like you're making your own choices, all right? But you're making the choices that are going to be out of a place of your own personal resources, your own personal confidence. I really like this energy for you because it's showing it's showing, it's this energy of can I do it? Can I um, move forward? And, and Spirit is saying you either already have or you're about to. Like just, you know, trust within yourself, especially with that star card coming in. Manifest, you know, the outcome that you're desiring. Let's take a look at that bouquet, especially because it does, you know, does talk about happiness, harmony and possibly even reconciliation. So what I'm getting here is there's like as far as reconciliation goes, I don't feel one. Just to be honest. Okay, Queen of Cups coming through. We've got the Queen of Swords. We've got the 7 of Swords and we've got the, I feel like you want something new. You want somebody who's going to be emotionally on that same page as you. Okay, you you do, I do feel that there, you know, for some of you, those secrets were found out. Or things, you know, from the surface were, were brought up, especially with that Seven of Swords. This can talk about, you know, somebody lying, somebody not being honest, somebody, you know, trying to get away with something. And I feel like they were all revealed, okay? Or they were starting to come to the surface, like you're starting to discover a lot of things that you may not have known about before. And I, I mean, you can always make your own choices. I do feel the energy of somebody trying to either pull you back uh, wanting to have that reconciliation, but I feel it's in your hands. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. I actually do have seasonal allergies right now. Um, I feel like this is all in your hands. I feel like it's, it's really in your hands, but I do feel that for many of you, you, you want to go towards this person who will have that mutual love, okay? A mutual love coming from a place of honesty, a coming from a place of sincerity, coming from a place of security, right within themselves this is what i'm getting and let's clarify we've got the queen of wands yeah king of swords and the knight of um the knight of uh swords coming through here There's definitely, I feel like there's definitely something new that you want, okay? I do feel that, you know, for some of you, you're, you're ready to move forward. I almost feel like you're in a place of strategizing that next move. You're strategizing your, your next step. Again, you know, going into that sacred pool, you may not know where it's going to go at this particular time, but you have that confidence within yourself that you know you can achieve it and you're not holding yourself back.
you're not holding yourself back in any way and I feel like if somebody is going to take that journey with you they're going to have to be coming from that place again of mutual honesty mutual security mutual you know confidence right knowing that the, you know as much work as you're putting into the relationship they will too and I don't feel that you're accepting anything less than that so let's get a closing message from spirit and see what is coming up let's see what spirit has to say to close off this reading remember guys if you do want a personal reading you can contact me at oraclintuitions.com just uh, go on my website, book a reading, and we can do a live video, um, live video reading. It'll be us one on one. All okay? right. <laughs> all right. Let's see what's happening here. Message from spirit. We've got the ant. Cooperate for the highest good of the community. And we have the kingfish. Be patient and focus. So what I'm getting here uh, for you guys is I'm really, use your power with wisdom. Because again, I did feel a lot of confidence coming through here. You know what I'm getting, uh, especially with this ants, when it talks about, you know, cooperate for the highest good of the community. I do feel that as you're making these choices, you may have to make those choices in a place where there is cooperation. Okay, and what I mean by that is I don't feel a nasty energy coming through. Okay, even if you walked away from somebody or if you had to make that choice towards something, make sure that you're doing it in a place where you're not burning bridges, you're not leaving behind, you know, a bad, I guess, karmic type of energy, if at all possible. We have that bear coming in again, so there's a lot of confidence here, and I feel like I feel like what's happening here is this is for the better. This is for the highest good for yourself, okay? Whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you're making that choice before or, you know, towards, this is the time to, you know, be patient, be focused, right? Choose the path that is going to be best for you. Again, I don't feel that your whatever path you choose is going to be best for you but make sure that you're coming from a place from within that heart energy because this is where really where it's going to uh, be in this place that is going to be the best for you so thank you so much for watching libras if this reading has resonated with you please click subscribe please click like and um have an amazing day have an amazing week take care many blessings